Nepal has plunged into fresh political crisis. The country has been politically unstable for decades due to its transition from absolute monarchy to democratic republic. But the latest developments cast a shadow on the democratic values of the country. Nepal's Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli dissolved the parliament on 20th December and announced that general elections would be held in April and May next year, a year ahead of the schedule. This decision by the K.P. Sharma Oli government has triggered political unrest in his party, Nepal Communist Party, NCP. Oli has lost support within his own party. And now, members of the party are accusing him of not consulting the senior members of the party in decision-making and key appointments. They are demanding his resignation. The current crisis is the result of months of disagreements and clashes with Pushpa Kamal Dahal, a former insurgent leader who helped Oli come to power when their parties merged in 2018. Both K.P. Sharma Oli and Pushpa Kamal have been in constant fight over power-sharing agreements within the party. And K.P. Sharma Oli has been facing dissents from his own party for several months now. He did not even honor the promise of allowing Pushpa Kamal to lead the government turn by turn as per the agreement. Reports also suggest that he dissolved the house hours before a standing committee meeting was expected to order a probe into corruption allegations against him by party co-chairman Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda. While 90 parliamentarians from the ruling party have registered a vote of no confidence, which is a statement or vote about whether a person in a position of responsibility has or does not have the strength to run the government. Seven ministers have resigned to challenge the dissolution of the lower house called Pratinidhi Sabha by the president. They have criticized the decision by calling it a violation of the popular mandate that they got in 2017 general elections. So is it an unconstitutional step on part of the PM to dissolve the parliament? Several lawyers, observers and experts have opposed this move to dissolve the parliament saying that the prime minister has no right to do so under the constitution. Observers say this move has pushed Nepal into a constitutional crisis because the Prime Minister cannot dissolve the House unless there are chances of forming an alternative government. Senior lawyers like Tikaram Bhattar believe this is an unconstitutional move which has put the new political order and Nepal democracy at risk. Constitutional law experts like Bhimarjun Acharya believe that this move could end up destroying the federal and republican system that was adopted in the new constitution in 2015. The Supreme Court has already started hearing around 12 petitions challenging Oli's decision to dissolve the house and the parliament. This move by Oli has resulted in political chaos and protests on the streets of Nepal. And let's remember that the whole crisis is unfolding at a time when Nepal is already facing political challenges and widespread protests by former royalist forces who want restoration of monarchy in the country. The ongoing constitutional crisis could push the Himalayan nation into uncertainty after years of short-lived government that followed a decade-long civil war.